Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today uh, we are diving deep into fascinating problem, the 0-1 matrix from uh, Litco. So we will tackle it in uh, Python, but don't worry, for those who prefer other languages, uh, I got uh, you covered. Uh, so in the description below, you can find uh, implementation uh, in C++, Rust, Go, and much more. So let's get started. Uh, all right. so. Let's first understand the problem. Uh, given binary matrix, uh, our task is to find the distance of the nearest zero for each cell. So if a cell already has a zero, the uh, distance is of course uh, zero. But for uh, cells with a one, uh, we need to find the shortest path to a zero. So uh, with each step between adjacent cell, uh, counting as a distance of one. So let's uh, look at the example to understand uh, it better. So uh, given this matrix, you can see how we can calculate the distance from uh, each one to its nearest uh, zero. So the resulting matrix uh, will be as follow. So uh, one, uh, one, two, and one. Uh, so yeah, let's draw it. Well, so uh, here we have distance of one, 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 and here we have distance of two. And why? Because we need to traverse one cell and a second cell, or uh, in this case, like this and this. So it's uh, two and two, and we need to find the uh, shortest one. So for this will be uh, two. Okay. so. Now, when we understand the problem, uh, let's dive into implementation. So uh, first thing first, we will use a breath first search BFS approach for this problem. So BFS is fantastic for problem where we need to find the shortest path or distance as it naturally explore uh, layers of neighbors in uh, waves. So uh, we'll start by initializing a queue with all the cells uh, that have a zero and setting the cell uh, with ones uh, to a largest value, which uh, I will call max uh, value. Uh, and it will be uh, n times n uh, as uh, yeah, maximum possible uh, matrix size. So let's implement it. So if not matrix or not matrix zero, simply return empty and then mn will be len matrix len zero matrix and q will be dq and max value will be m times n and then initialize the q with all zeros and set cells with ones to max value. So for i in range m, for j in range n, if matrix ij equals zero, q append ij else matrix ij will be max value and direction will be one zero uh, minus one zero zero one and zero minus one okay so all possible direction and now uh, the while loop so while q okay so uh, once uh, our setup is complete we will begin our uh, bfs so we will process each cell uh, updating its neighbor to the current cell value plus one, but uh, only if a new distance is shorter than the neighbor current value, because we need to find minimum. So the uh, direction list uh, here uh, signifies the four uh, possibility moves. So we can move from any cell up, down, left or right, and uh, those are indication of those uh, directions. So by the time our queue is empty, uh, our matrix will have uh, been transformed. So with each cell holding the shortest distance 
to uh, zero. So let's implement it. So while row column q pop left for drdc in directions rc row plus direction call plus direction column if less than rm and zero c n and matrix rc greater than row column so plus one q append rc and matrix rc will be matrix row column plus one and then return uh, matrix so uh, simple implementation uh, let's run to verify uh, if it's working so hopefully it will work yeah all good so now let's run it for uncentered cases as well uh, to verify so yes all good and our implementation a bit 85 percent with respect to runtime and also 74 percent with respect to memory so uh, all good so perfect uh, our function works uh, like expected so the beauty of this approach uh, lies in uh, its simplicity and efficiency so using a bfs structure ensure that we uh, don't revisit cell and the queue help us uh, process cell in the optimal order so uh, as promised for those interested in uh, solution in other languages i uh, have uh, other uh, languages as well implementation uh, in C++, Java, Rust, Go, and much more. So uh, check out in the description below. Uh, and uh, I have uh, included link to uh, GitHub and LeetCode. So uh, that's it for today's session. Uh, I hope you found it uh, insightful and uh, yeah, pick up a trick or two. And if you enjoy this uh, session, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more coding adventure tutorials and much more and uh, leave your thoughts uh, question or any uh, intriguing problem you would like me to tackle in the uh, next session in the comment section below and until next time keep practicing happy coding